it's July 10th and today the volcano erupted. I'm Raka and I'm the co-founder of Lava Show or Lady Lava as some call me. And today was actually one of the hottest days that has been this year, this summer. Uh, and things just got a tad hotter uh, when the Fjardalsfjall volcano opened up a fissure of 200 meters and it started flowing out lava, bright orange, just like we've seen over the past two years. So this is the third consecutive year in a row where Fjardalsfjall um, has started erupting and this time scientists are saying that it's a bigger eruption than the last two years. Uh, right now we are look like in the beginning it was actually a 200 meter long fissure that has now expanded to over one kilometer and there's about 50 openings pouring out lava at this very moment. Um, and the volume of lava is actually 10 times uh, what it was last year, uh, or that's what they're expecting. And that also means that the toxic gases are 10 times as they were last year. So this year, it's actually a way more dangerous place uh, than it was in the previous years, which is why it's very important to be mindful of a few things. So first of all, I want to start by saying that the police and the civil defense have decided to close off the area while they are figuring out and evaluating how dangerous the eruption site really is. But we are seeing a lot of people trying to hike up the trail and the search and rescue teams are actually sending people back. We were allowed to come here to the old eruption site, but that's as far as we were allowed to go. Uh, it's still four to five kilometer hike to the place where the eruption is currently taking place, which is just north of the mountain Little Rutur or Little Ram. And basically it's a long hike because we already hiked almost five kilometers here. So it is a pretty long hike, just one way, which is why uh, it's not really worthwhile to start the hike if you can't really finish it, right? Uh, because the search and rescue teams are sending people back. The eruption site is still lined with people who have made it there already, despite the warnings from the civil defense. So people, please stay away for now until the authorities have given the green light to actually go. The eruption is taking place almost exactly in the area where scientists were predicting that it would. Uh, and that happens to be in the middle of the Reykjanes Peninsula highlands, pretty far away from any inhabited area uh, or any infrastructure for that matter. So there's not any real danger from the eruption from that point of view. Uh, the lava is not going to flow over any towns or anything like that. However, um, there are toxic gases that we need to take into consideration. Um, and they can actually travel some distances. Uh, so depending on the wind direction, that can actually uh, be difficult or, or harmful for people, especially with respiratory diseases. Um, there are a few uh, toxic gases 
that uh, come from an eruption. But the two main ones are uh, CO2 or carbon dioxide and the other one is sulfur dioxide. They actually behave in quite different ways. So here's what you need to be mindful of if you ever go to an eruption site site or to a, an erupting volcano. Uh, the carbon dioxide is heavier than the oxygen that we breathe. So it has a tendency to go down into valleys and sort of stop there. And it sort of sneaks up on you because it doesn't really, you don't smell it and you don't really feel it. You just start feeling a little bit drowsy, tired, maybe you want to sit down and that's the worst thing that you do. So if you start feeling drowsy <laughs> when you're by an erupting volcano, it's time to walk up a hill or two to just get away from that gas. The sulfur dioxide, however, it behaves a little bit differently. That is lighter than oxygen, so it has a tendency to rise. However, uh, it depends on the wind also, how it behaves. And that you can a little bit smell, but you can also feel it in your eyes and your mouth. And you start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. And if that is a feeling that you get, it's just time to get away, head away, uh, and then you should be okay. But these can be fatal, so please be careful. So the area is closed right now, but the authorities are actually holding a meeting as we speak, determining wh what is going to be the next course of action. Uh, will the eruption site remain closed or will it be open? We hope that we will be able to come here, maybe tomorrow, so stay tuned. <laughs>